Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function. In the given question, the number of arbitrary functions present are 2. Those are f and phi. Let's take this as the first expression. So to eliminate this, we are going to use dou z by dou x which is named as p then dou z by dou y which is named as q then dou square z by dou x square which is named as r then dou square z by dou x dou y which is named as s and dou square z by dou y square which is named as t to eliminate the arbitrary function. Let's take the first expression. We are going to differentiate this one partially with respect to x. So we get dou z by dou x equal to f of y is fully constant so it is 0. Phi derivative is phi dash of x plus y plus z then by chain rule x derivative is 1 y is 0 z is dou z by dou x. This is our second expression. In the same way, let us take the first one again. So, differentiate the first expression. Now, differentiating partially with respect to y. So, this is dou z by dou y equal to f of y will become f dash of y and phi becomes phi dash of x plus y plus z and by chain rule derivative of x is 0, y is 1 and z is dou z by dou y. This is our third expression. Now in this third expression, let us take this to the other side. So we get dou z by dou y minus f dash of y equal to phi dash of x plus y plus z into 1 plus dou z by dou y. So we just rewrite the third expression. Now we are going to divide second expression by third expression so that we can eliminate the phi dash. So second expression divided by third expression. Left hand side it is dou z by dou x divided by here it is dou z by dou y minus f dash of y. And here while dividing this phi dash term gets cancelled and we have only in the numerator 1 plus dou z by dou x and in the denominator it is 1 plus dou z by dou y. Now let us simplify this further. We are going to cross multiply this entire term. We are going to multiply with this. So 1 into dou z by dou x is dou z by dou x plus dou z by dou x into dou z by dou y and on the other side we have to multiply this entire term with this. Let us take first dou z by dou y and multiply with this. So it is dou z by dou y into 1 is dou z by dou y plus dou z by dou y into dou z by dou x. Then we have to multiply f dash of y. So this is minus f dash of y then minus f dash of y into dou z by dou x. In both the sides we find a similar term dou z by dou x into dou z by dou y. So we can cancel this. After cancelling let us rewrite this one. So this is dou z by dou x equal to dou z by dou y minus f dash of y minus f dash of y into dou z by dou x. Now we can carry this term to the other side. So this is dou z by dou x minus dou z by dou y and we can take minus f dash of y common and this becomes 1 plus dou z by dou x. So we already divided 2 and 3. Now after this we name this as a fourth expression. Now we are going to differentiate this 4. Let us differentiate this fourth expression partially 
with respect to x first. So this is dou square z by dou x square minus dou square z by dou x dou y and this is a constant which can be kept as it is and this derivative is dou square z by dou x square. One differentiation is zero. Let's keep this as a fifth expression. Now we can divide 4 and 5 to eliminate the minus f dash of y. So let us take fourth expression and we divide that by the fifth expression. So the left hand side this is p minus q divided by here this is r minus s and on the other side while dividing these two terms gets cancelled and in the numerator we get 1 plus p and the denominator this is r. Now we are going to rearrange this cross multiplying this p r minus q r equal to and this entire term we have to multiply with 1 plus p. So r into 1 r plus p r minus s minus s p. So we can cancel these two terms that is p r and p r. After that rearranging we can take these two negative terms to the other side and this negative term to the right hand side. So when this comes we get s plus s p equal to r plus r q and here we can take s common so s into 1 plus p equal to when r is taken common r into 1 plus q. So this is the required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary functions.